Okay, this is Bruce at Bookmap. Welcome to the uh, end of the week here uh, of our professional trading webinar series. And uh, we have today Ferran Font Ramental. Uh, he is uh, uh, a well established uh, and, and highly respected uh, trader and just a really, really uh, wonderful person. Great, great guy. Uh, and uh, he's been trading a variety of markets uh, for the last uh, uh, 12 years or so. Uh, and um, a book map fits, fits very well with his style. Uh, you'll see this. Uh, we're going to go over uh, timing uh, and book map. Uh, so uh, you, you would, um, uh, it would be, be a benefit for you to check out some of his previous webinars. Uh, many of them are also in Spanish. Uh, so if you're uh, uh, Spanish speaking uh, and native to that language, you'll probably find uh, um, some nice uh, uh, content there for you. Um, Okay, so uh, just a, a few things here. Uh, if you haven't tried Bookmap yet, uh, there is a free trial. You can go to bookmap.com. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then uh, reach out to us with any uh, issues or um, uh, questions at support at bookmap.com. Risk disclaimer, uh, trading futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Now, uh, let's get into the presentation here. Uh, Farhan is going to talk about timing the market with Bookmap, uh, and um, uh, these are his. Um, uh, you can find his website here, uh, order orderbooktrading.com. Uh, here is his Twitter at uh, Farhan at Farhan Font Scalp, and then uh, you have his email address here as well if you want to reach out and uh, uh, speak with uh, Farhan. Uh, at uh, elasticfont.com. Okay, these webinars are recorded, um, and uh, this is where you can find them. If you go to our YouTube homepage here at Bookmap, uh, just scroll down uh, the um, uh, the homepage here, and you'll see the uh, Pro Trader webinar series here for September. Uh, and uh, these are all the previous webinars that we had this week, and uh, and uh, Ferrans will be added here. Uh, after uh, he's finished okay so um, let's see uh, ah, the uh, links and information that you see here uh, I'm going to put it into the chat box for you so uh, uh, you can link directly from that uh, and um, uh, make it easier for you other than that uh, thank you for uh, and uh, let me give the uh, uh, controls over to you Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, many thanks, Bruce, for your words. Many thanks, all the Bookmap team, for inviting me to this webinar. It's really a pleasure being here today. Many thanks also, all the traders who are watching this webinar. I really enjoy sharing how I use Bookmap in my trading system and what are in my opinion the key factors when using this tool i'm going to show you what i really do this doesn't mean that other approach can work of course they can but at least what i'm going to show you is what it works for me Please disclaimer, uh, before starting, let's remember that trading is not suitable for everyone. Remember not to risk an amount that you cannot afford to lose or that will change your current lifestyle. Past performance doesn't mean future results. So let's start, let me introduce myself. I'm a price action trader. I'm trading naked. I don't use any kind of indicators or any other help, just the action of the price. What I do is really, really very simple, perhaps too much simple, but it's what I do. To me, the most important thing is the market structure. To have some areas of business, some hot spots, some areas 
areas or levels of n, I move around this level. Or what is more important, how it is supposed to move. In this system, but as a tool to improve my trade location in that specific level. So in my workspace, I have also a footprint chart and of course a candlestick chart. Let's start. As I mentioned before, Bookmap is to me a tool. In fact, it's not a standalone system itself. My advice is always to use Bookmap as a confirmation tool. In this sense, what we are going to cover today is the use of Bookmap to find the best entry in a technical analysis setup. That's it. I'm going to explain what is my best setup. And then once we have understood that pattern, then I will explain how to use Bookmap to find the best possible entry in that specific setup. In other words, I will show you how to use Bookmap not only to track the unfolding setup, but also to catch the best possible entry. You will probably ask me, is I have taken an entry because of Bookmap? That's not true. Before I look at Bookmap, I wanted already to be long or short. But it is Bookmap who will give me the exact entry and exit point. So let's see before starting to explain the pattern. Allow me to think a little about why so many traders fail. I honestly think that it is probably because of greed. We all want to buy low and sell high. We all want to catch tops and bottoms. You will see that I am not the aggressive trader you may think. I am the conservative wait and see trader. So let's look at this long entry in Euro. You will not believe me if I tell you that I have received many messages in this case from other traders and friends telling me to buy the falling knife that it was the euro in this example. The answer is that I really don't know. In fact, no one knows when the price will stop. So let's explain now the double pressure, pretension setup. So in this example, you can see that many friends uh, were telling me to buy that pullback. We are in an uptrend and we can say A, B, C. A, B equal B, C. So many people is looking at the round number for a long entry. But let's see what happened there. Let's see how the price, how the level didn't hold. So maybe we could give some more room. And then many people were telling me to buy that double, double bottom. Maybe you want to take that long. But let's see what the price did. Again, the price broke the level and we had a nice sell off. You will probably tell me, Ferran, let's take that uh, 950 level. But let's see what the price did. The price broke the level again with a final climax and then 
So uh, let me explain why we should take that specific level, that specific setup, we call, we call it the double pressure pretension setup. And let's see how we can use Bookmap in that specific place. Before that, let me explain uh, the, the setup. So, what is the pretension uh, pattern? Once the price has bounce on a support or resistance, giving us a confirmation that the level is holding, then we, as a conservative trader, must wait and see. So, wait for what? Wait for a fight between bulls and bears in some kind of zipper behavior where many traders will be trapped in both sides of the market. Then, once uh, the click level is broken, there is some kind of capitulation, let's say some kind of imbalance, some kind of covering that will give us a fast and clean move. Let's see these examples. We can see in the first examples, many traders looking at that resistance level want to take a short there, maybe too soon, but uh, they can add to the losing position once the price is make that double top. But again, like in previous example, the price broke the level. Then we have the price coming again and making a walking stick, testing the level. And you will say, okay, Ferran, now it's time, time to sell. In fact, it is not. We need to wait and see for that double pressure set up. And then when it is broken, let's take a nice, clean and fast move. In that other example, uh, more or less, uh, we have the same, a broken level, and then a test, 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 and finally, a higher high, probably major trend reversal. We don't know, the price can make even another higher high. So, the conservative trader will wait, will wait for the price to move down. Let's look like in this example, the price broke the previous resistance, make some kind of double pressure, and finally we have our entry. Once we have understood the price action there or there, we will use book map to know how to take the best possible entry. Let's look finally in another example, a short, uh, even more complicated, double top, higher high, test, telling us jump on board. Finally, the price broke again to the level and test in that broke, in that uh, walking stick, the complex double pressure, and finally, the nice move we are looking for. Here we have at the end, an example for long, it's an uptrend, maybe A, B, C is not correct. We don't have the pretension, another high, again, is telling us jump on board. And finally, the sell off, the sell off, the double pressure, the click, and then let's take the level. Uh, let's see some examples on how to use Bookmap to put them in practice. In this example, I can see that the price is bouncing at the trend line. And then we have an automatic reaction 
to that brick. Then we have the double pressure. In this case, we were stopped out with that gap, testing again the, the trend line. It doesn't matter. And finally, a nice move. Again, the other day, we have a test of the broken level with that walking stick, the pretension, a test, and finally, and so on. In this case, uh, we are more risky because I don't use to buy at the top of the channel. I would say that I would wait even for some kind of behavior like this. So let's see some examples where we are going to use book map to find my entry there, there, and there. As a conservative trader, we reject to catch that falling knife, even that, or even that, or we are not to sell climatic actions on top of the channel. So let's see those examples. The way I use book map. I, I mentioned before that I believe in market structure, but when using book map, we are able to see the nano structure. The price has a macro structure, let's say the candlestick structure. But in addition, book map, uh, book map allows us to watch for that nano structure. We have a level, a resistance level. I want to be assured. I am not a hero. I don't want to sail in A. I don't want to be assured in B. And despite all the liquidity I can see in book map there, then I don't want to be short too. Let's look at that kind of nanostructure, some kind of coil. Finally, we have a move. We have the double pressure. And finally, the breakout. We have the test. And again, using the nanostructure in, in A, and adding again to our winning position in those trader. When it is broken, probably at that liquidity, I will close my short. Let's see another example. Uh, that's a good example too. Uh, we are in an uptrend and the price is making a pullback. Do you think that institutions have bought in that liquidity A, B, or C? For sure they have, because I can see here in the volume, I would say there are responsive buyers. But should I, should I buy where once the price has broken the, the, the downtrend line in that microstructure in D? No, I should wait again for that double pressure and take those initiative buyers and then use again the nanostructure to track my 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 long we have the creek there the spoofing and probably i will close at that level with that big liquidity let's look at another example in this case, uh, we can see always the same, an uptrend. Then we got the resistance level. I don't want to be a short in A, never. Then we have the broken trend line. I'm always using those trend lines to know when a nanostructure is broken. And 
I try to find the new nanostructure in the next tree. So we have, in this case, a test of that cluster with the double pressure and our entry in C. In this case, we have a more complex with a couple of uh, double pressure, but let's track the price until our target. Let's look at this. Probably I would close my short trade in that level. Let's look in this case for uh, a long, a long example. What I always do is to look for the liquidity. We can see there that there are limit orders buying and how they stop the price. So what I do is using a market profile concept from James Dalton, let's say responsive buyers and initiative buyers. And then when working, what I always do, I draw some kind of circles telling myself that those are responsive buyers. The final climax, again, more volume on liquidity. I will never buy in A, but finally, once I always wait for that nanostructure to be broken, the automatic reaction, the zipper, and the initiative buyers. Those are my friends. And then I hold the test. Probably is not uh, a clean trade, but that's what I do. Okay, let's see uh, how I use the delta, how delta can help us to find uh, what they are really doing. In this example, we have that downtrend structure. At the same time, we have a trend line which is broken in an uptrend. And you will probably ask me, do you buy in A? Not yet. Do you buy that sell-off? Not yet. Do you buy that sell-off again? Not yet. First, what I will wait is for the initiative buyers, the broken of the nano structure, the double pressure, and then go. But in this case, let's see how the cumulative delta is telling us that they are strongly buying that sell-off. One advice I can tell you is looking at the volume. In this climax, we have a strong value. Many, many times, and probably due to momentum, we have a lower low. But look how the volume is lower. The volume in C is lower than the volume in B. So in addition to the cumulative delta, that gives me confidence to take the broke the, the, the broken, uh, the breakout of that trend line. Okay, let's see. Uh, again, this is in Spanish, and in all these examples, uh, they are uh, not clean enough, but I decide to use because those are my real charts, even that is in Spanish. You can see they are buying, of course they are, the clear the final climax they are buying and then how they break the breakout of the trend line in this case it's not with initiative buyers it's they are broken the trend line with time but let's see in this case the zipper the double pressure and the trigger entry signal is that dot and let's go how they cross the how they cross the creek 
Okay. Again uh, and again, it's always the same. How they do a spoofing. Uh, I'm using uh, many. So let's see a real example from this morning. Let's see what I did this morning. Let's uh, let's see what the price was doing. Uh, we are going to take along in this area. You can ask me, Ferran, oh, why don't you want to be a bull in A in that trend line? Of course, I want, but uh, may I get up and that's my my time to 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 trade. So let's see. Uh, in this case, the sell off. The automatic reaction to that trick has been tested many times. The double pressure. Let's look how there is a gap. A gap to me is when the price is trying to touch the line in the sun. That 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 line that they don't allow to cross. And uh, once they broke, in this case. The price action was not good enough because the overnight session, that's the entry. The entry to the next level. So when I get up, I had the same. This morning, I had that double pressure. I, I had again a test with a shakeout of the level for a few ticks. They made a shakeout. They made also an up thrust. So the double pressure, I wait. I wait the fight to finish. And then I will take the breakout. They have test a walking stick and to the next level. That's also a short. In this case, a strong level, the 120, very, very strong. They made a double shakeout. And how that double pressure is giving us a short. So uh, they come here to test the level of the of the morning. Let's see how to use then bookmap. This chart is from yesterday night. That's my local time. It's 8 p.m. very late, uh, going for dinner, and I saw in bookmap. One th more than 1,000 lots there, sitting there, and the price was hitting, hitting, hitting the liquidity, and they sit there, and they didn't remove that liquidity. Believe me, uh, that more than 1,000, it's a huge volume. Normally, we can see levels of 400. So let's. That's my real chart. Let's see how I decide that those were responsive buyers. Again, re the circle, responsive buyers. They broke the train line, the breakout. They come, they begin to make the zipper. So you will probably ask, Ferran, when you can see that liquidity in bookmap, those are again responsive buyers. Will you buy that test of that level? I will not. Not yet, because as conservative trader, I will wait for the price to make the double pressure. What I will do is to break the breakout. Of course, because of discipline, it was too late. And I don't want it to leave overnight positions, so I decide not to take that 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 price action. Uh, let's see what happens. I I took the screenshot there, and then the price one, two, three, four, the gap, and then during overnight session the price bonds. So. Many times the answer is in our left. When I get up today, I remember what it happened yesterday, 
late in the evening. So with that in mind, let's see what happened today. We can see here my entries, the long, the long again, the long here, adding many longs. Uh, uh, as you can see, I apologize because I am not uh, uh, a good trader enough, so I didn't I didn't wait for the price to break out. So uh, lack of discipline. So I enter bef before the setup finish. But uh, uh, you know sometimes you cannot uh, uh, control yourself. So let's see. Let's remember that we saw more than 1,000 lots yesterday night. The price make at 8 in the morning a breakout, and then they begin to make the zipper. So look how we have the same behavior. We have the lots there sitting, sitting, sitting there. What I look for is when price makes a collision on that liquidity, I want the price to hold. And at the same time, growing, 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 growing the volume. They make several tests and then take the breakout. So let's see. This is what it happens. Uh, that is where we took our entry. That's the liquidity. That is the zipper, the double pressure. That was the creek, the line in the sun. Look how the apple is not ready to, to eat. They will not remove the creek until they have finished to, to buy as much as they wanted to buy. And then we could took maybe that initiative buyers or even better we can add to, we can add to our winning position with that clear breakout the price always come to test the creek the walking stick and move up from the point of view of the tape I mentioned before that I use order flow software. In this case, uh, let's see how we have the double pressure. I have plots of maybe I can see 400, 200, 700, 600. And then look at this, 1,200 lots. The initiative buyers, the initial lack of supply, and go again the zipper the double pressure many people buying against the trend the level is broken but people keep on selling and finally again the initiative buyers the ignition and go and again here we have near 1,000, and here we have 2,000, a small zipper again, and so on. So that was the short. I mentioned before that uh, we have the same behavior. Once we get the 120 level, a key level, I don't want to be a short there. I don't want to be a short there. I need to wait for the breakout, the breakout and go test and then to the level. Let's see that short trade with book map. That was my short this morning. So I close my, my, all my longs, even a swing trade and again, lack of discipline the creek was there 
and I start to sell before the breakout. But, you know, sometimes, and let's see, let's see how to use Boommap to close the trade. Let's see. Let's see. I was short, and again, boom, a sell off, and look at this. Again, a big volume there. That's the place where I want to cover my short. And as far as I know, the market is being trading in range for all these in all these uh, period. So that was the short. That was the long. I close at the top. The short. I close there. And now I think we have something like this. I will not sell that move. I will neither short a test. That's another history. I will only be a short once we'll clearly make that breakout after some consolidation there, which I think is doing right now. Okay, so uh, that's the same setup, but when looking at the profile, let's see how the test, the test, the test, the test, the zipper, uh, big volume in the profile is creating in that area. I don't want to buy there. I want to buy the breakout. Uh, I don't know if there is any question right now. Otherwise, uh, we can make, we can answer a couple of three questions. And then I have prepared a clip uh, when using Boom Map in real time. So maybe you prefer to watch the clip right now, or maybe uh, I can ask uh, some questions of what we have explained until now, and then have a look at that video clip. Okay, that sounds good, uh, Farhan. Uh, no, no questions at this moment. Okay, okay. So then let's look at the clip and let me explain how I use book map. That was September the 15th. And let's see the idea. Okay, that's the, the candlestick chart. We are in an uptrend and we are looking for a long. We are looking for a long. Again, we have the sell off. We have the pretension, we have the double, uh, the zipper, test of the level, previous test, a gap there, and we are going to take that breakout. Let's see it in real time and how to take the best possible entry. Uh, this, this is the, the entry, uh, that's what I did, uh, the sell-off. Once we have the sell-off, let's wait for the pretension, the double pressure, which is there. And uh, we have one there and we have another after the climax. That entry in that, you, you can see that I add to my winning positions there and to the to the place where we need to reverse and take shorts. Okay, so let's see how to take that entry in real time. Uh, that is being recorded, what we are going to see. Uh, that is my real account, uh, that's what I did. But uh, uh, the entries is done in a SIM account. So let's see. We had there a sell off. Look at this test where that we, we could say that is stopping volume. We wait and see, then a sell off and 
an automatic reaction. That is giving me the level to trade. And let's look. Let's look how that those are initiative buyers and the the yellow the draw in yellow is done when i was trading and uh, i'm going to explain in blue so let's look how they are making some back feeling i wanted to take along there which i was not able to catch not in the market yet so let's see again let's look how they are doing some backfilling so let's wait for a test of this of this of this volume and take our entry in fact that could be the creek that's the bounce on a support that's the double pressure and we need in fact to wait to wait for the breakout i have moved my my limit by limit order because i'm not sure and let's see to me those are initiative buyers so let's let's see a sell off i'm in uh, so I'm using that liquidity. At the beginning, I wanted to use that one, but because of momentum, one leg, another leg down. So the volume is giving me the clue. That volume is giving me that entry. So uh, exactly at the, at the level, nothing is broken yet. Nothing is broken yet so i buy maybe uh 10 percent of my position and let's wait for the level to be broken so let's wait let's wait i place a, a buy stop limit order above the creek you can see there and it's been filled right now initiative buyers those are responsive buyers a test of the broken level and just let's wait more initiative buyers there and i'm taking some scalp I wanted to take some scalp there at that liquidity because I'm worried about that liquidity. Unfortunately, I'm not filled. And they make another test of the breakout. Uh, look how many traders close the long, take some profits there. I was not able to. And then at that pullback, I I'm adding to my winning position. You can see there. That's the line in the sun. Let's look at this, very important. That liquidity there is the line on the sun, is the place where I will know if I'm wrong or right. So I think they will not allow them to pass through those are responsive buyers again another yeah. test and my buy stop order just above the creek that's the creek and let's see another test as you can see I'm always drawing the nanostructure. In that correction, you can see that I have the nanostructure, and once it is broken, then I will place more longs to my to this trade. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. All right, in fact, I am not uh, good enough. Uh, so I am not respecting the system and I'm trying to catch uh, the trade in the middle of the, in the middle of the double pressure. Let's see, let me stop the video. Let's see the delta the, in the cumulative delta, how the price is doing that double pressure. I'm trying to catch uh, the price there, not discipline at enough because the right entry, in fact, is there. But let's see, let's see how the price is moving horizontal and then some kind of pressure in the cumulative delta. So let's see. Again, let's look at the tape. In this case, we have in the tape some short trap trying to reverse the uptrend. And then look, market is trading about 300 lots. And suddenly, at the end of the double pressure setup, we have the ignition. One th 1,200 lots is, uh, we should take that, that long entry signal. Okay, so the market then make the, the, the up move and, and that's what we did at the end. Okay, Bruce, uh, that's all from my side. Uh, so let's see if uh, there is some questions we could we can ask okay uh let's see here there's a question um what does a uh, double refer to in double pressure uh is uh is it the zipper aspect you're talking about yes uh as i mentioned before uh, the double pressure is some price behavior is uh, a fight. We could say it's just a fight between bulls and bear. Uh, the market, in fact, yes, it's moving in some kind of a zipper way where many traders will be trapped. Uh, we need to know first that we need to, 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 to trade over a level. We need to trade uh, a support, a resistance, and uh, not trying to to know if the the level will hold or not. Is just after the price has bounced on that level, then uh, the fight begins. So uh, we need uh, to take some kind of capitulation, some kind of imbalance. In fact. Uh, the short covering in in the trade we have just seen is our entry signal. The in, the signal could be there or even there. That's the some kind of zipper. That's the level. This trade is not correct. And uh, just the covering of all the people trying to jump on board jump on board in this case there is even a gap on the line in the sun that's the right entry one leg up and the market uh, normally does something twice the first leg up and then we need to take also the second leg up x a equal b c okay <laughs> okay uh Okay, so uh, yeah, double uh, understood. Double pressure is um, more of the uh, fighting uh, both sides, pressure on both sides. Yes, yes, right. Okay, uh, let's see here. Robert's asking, are there certain days uh, you avoid trading based on overall conditions, uh, even if you see the setup developing? Uh, yes, uh, to me, the big picture is what it is important. Uh, uh, I think that, uh, in fact, 
let me advise uh, uh, the market many times uh, has some kind of random behavior. Let's look at this, uh, this, at this uh, Twitter account where that trader has some levels has some levels regarding options you know that uh the professional trader sells puts and sells calls so the overall uh, that rubber is mentioned has some levels for the current month so as you can see that is the resistance 121 and that's the the support 116 that's some kind of a straddle and we have a point of control so yes uh mm, you cannot trade uh only the setup uh, you can see in boom map it's not just a standalone system in fact you need to understand uh the big picture uh, that's my advice okay um Let's see here. So get get your questions in uh, for Ferran. Uh, he is um, uh, especially uh, uh, for those of you uh, uh, trading the currencies. Uh, he is uh, uh, spends a lot of uh, as you can see with the examples uh, on the six E or uh, other currencies. Uh, so uh, we have that luxury here of having him uh, discuss uh, a lot of the currencies. Uh, let's see here. We have another question. A lot, a lot of the questions have been actually technical uh, for Ron at the moment. Uh, let's uh, take a look here. I trade, uh, I trade, I'm trading uh, currencies because uh, I live in Barcelona and it's the, 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 the London opening. I feel comfortable trading them. Uh, but uh, sometimes I, I can use the same concept in the S&P, moves exactly the same. The same in all time frames. But as you can see, when using book map, you will be able to look at the nanostructure. That is really important. So we have, for instance, today we have a structure. I have that level. I have, again, that level. I have that line in the sun level. But then, once you are inside the trade, in the pretension, then you can look a hidden nanostructure that you will only be able to watch when using book map. For that reason, you will see how I'm drawing that lines. Those are, those are my real, my real, uh, lines I, I draw this morning. That is a mistake. It's a mistake that just a mistake. I'm trading very fast at the speed of light. So that's a mistake. But you can see that hidden structure. You can see that structure. And, and that's all. So you can use those concepts in all products, all time frames, even in the nanostructure time frame. Okay, so are are you um, are you uh, you're, you're taking? It looks like you are taking your um, uh, trades uh, in the spot forex market, but you're looking at the uh, currency futures uh, in the in um, uh, in book map. That's right, because uh, uh, because. Uh, uh, currencies are not a central market, uh, then uh, you can look at Bookmap, the 6Z, and then, of course, you can buy the, 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 the future. But in my case, I trade uh, the liquidity uh, from a liquidity supplier located in London. In this case, I'm using LMAX. Uh, as many people, so uh, uh, yes, I, I then I just click in the spot market, but always looking 
at the futures market to get my analysis. Okay, understood. Uh, let's see here, a question. Uh, when going long, do you just set a buy order right at the breakout point, or do you wait for the breakout and then the pullback? Uh, what I, uh, to be honest, and what is important, my secret is that as conservative trader, I wait and see. To be honest, when I can see that volume, buying there i make this morning a circle and i feel like to buy but i cannot buy then i need to know what is the creek the line the, the, the level to be broken in this case that the spoofing is telling me the level to be broken then as you can see there is some kind of automatic reaction, again, more volume in that point. So, as soon as I see that volume there in that liquidity, I decide that the apple was not ready for eating. Then the market in a Wyckoff uh, way of trading, need to show us some some lack of supply you can see uh, that behavior in order flow uh, software but the answer is you need to wait those are responsive buyers and wait and then that volume initiative buyers are our entry signal so uh, I buy at market once once the structure is broken, once they open the window. Why? Because regarding the creek, test, 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 they won't remove. They are long already. Yes, they are. They won't remove the liquidity. But once the price is ready, they open the window, they place volume, the initiative buyers, and let the price come in. That's the entry. So I buy a ma at market as soon as I can see that those initiative buyers. Um, normally, I, I add to my, I scale in and scale out. So I will be adding at the test, at the walking stick, at the walking stick test. And you have seen that um, because lack of discipline, sometimes I can see the nanostructure, how price is holding that nanostructure, and it's a temptation also to buy before the price is, bro is breaking the level. But the answer is wait wait at market as soon they open the window and the initiative buyers jump into the market so all the shorts will be dead and they will give you a clean and fast move because of short covering ah okay let's see um do you use the uh, heat map uh, to manage uh, your your trading as well. Uh, the heat map. Uh, you mean maybe that 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 map that that map uh, uh, that the, the order flow the the footprint chart. Uh, yes, uh, because market is a two way. Uh, from one side, boom map is showing us the supply supply for buying supply for selling it's only half side of the moon so you need to match both sides of the moon in the other side you have order flow softwares where you can see not offer which is showing you with book map but demand uh in this case uh 
in this case, uh, uh, the software uh, is telling you the demand. So, bookmap is a heat map itself. Uh, let's say that the the heat the heat map itself is just the book map itself. Okay. Uh, another question. Um, do you have uh, or provide a, a trading service? Uh, no, no. Uh, in fact, uh, I trade my own accounts. Uh, I used to uh, make some uh, trading in real time in, in showrooms where I've been invited. And also, of course, I, 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 we, I trade together with my students, which at the same time are my friends. So, but uh, not a, a chat room or something like that. Uh, most of my students become friends. And of course we have chats where we all share uh, trading ideas and, and things like that. So uh, for if someone wants to trade together with me, just send me a message. You have my data, and of course, I'm I'm always happy to share to share knowledge because that allows me to learn. Okay. Let's see, uh, for day trading, uh, what time frame are you using? Uh, I'm using, uh, in fact, 15 minutes chart for my entries. But at the same time, I'm using Boob Map, which looking at the nanostructure is giving me the one tick chart. Uh, so um, I look at the big picture in four hours chart, then look at price behavior in a smaller time frame, like in this case, the five minutes chart. And finally, I get my entry at the one tick, which is book map. Okay. Never lose, my advice is never lose the big picture. So uh, the advice is think big, trade small. So I look at the market in, uh, in a way uh, that uh, the four hour chart can 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 show me that the, the euro is making highs and then after that is being testing twice the 120. After that they try to test again but make a gap. Then we have the Fed release like that, the sell off and from that point we have expansion and then we have right now contraction. So uh, yes, they have extend far away from my thought. Again, they come to test the 120. Uh, so let's see what happens in the UK on Sunday, but expansion, now contraction and, and uh, another leg down. Uh, Al Brooks is always saying, market does something twice. We have the first leg down, so let's look for the second. Of course, we need to break the 118 in the euro to, to get a nice uh, pullback. So to look at this, you can, of course, you cannot look at book map. Book map is not a standalone system. When you look at this, you see nothing for that reason. I advise you to look at the four hour chart. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, no other questions. Uh, so um, uh, if, uh, any, any, any last minute questions here? Uh, else I think uh, we, can, we can wrap it up. Um, Al, I can answer that question. So, bookmap can't be um, 
uh, used as standalone? Well, it, it depends. Like, um, you know, on your time frame of trading, I think that's uh, uh, the answer there. Uh, Ferran is looking at a much bigger picture, uh, but uh, if you are looking at uh, uh, smaller time frames, um, yeah, Bookmap is, um, uh, you know, it'll it'll cover all that information and data for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, I posted, uh, Scott. Uh, all of the um, uh, information is uh, is in there. Uh, you can uh, uh, see in the chat. Uh, I put in uh, every everything for uh, for Ferran. Uh, so if you want to reach out and and speak to him, uh, you you've got his email there. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Bruce. Thank you. I agree. I agree with you. Of course, uh, uh, risk risk aversion is different for. Uh, any uh, for all the traders so i feel comfortable trading uh the big picture and taking my best entry with book map but i know other successful traders are using uh book map as a standalone system i mentioned at the beginning that at least that works for me and hope uh, i can help you to improve your performance but of course there are other other ways to trade absolutely absolutely um and uh, uh yes you you are looking at the, the much higher time frame bigger picture uh direction uh and then getting into book map uh for uh uh precision uh and uh in the initiated buyers like you it, it, one of the the things that you're looking for uh, okay, so uh, uh, Carlos, yes, Bookmap will work with NinjaTrader, uh, and uh, Bookmap actually is a standalone um, uh, software uh, platform. So you can go through Ninja if you like, but you can also uh, just uh, input the uh, uh, data feed um, uh, credentials uh, for CQG or Rhythmic or uh, IQ feed, and uh, uh, it will work just like Ninja does as a standalone uh, uh, platform. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I think I think that's it, Farhan. Uh, thank you uh, very much. Uh, we got uh, Robert saying uh, uh, great inf uh, great information, great presentation. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for attending the webinar and have a nice weekend. Thanks, thanks, Bruce, for inviting. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye.